so today's uh, topic of discussion is uh, representation of a set so in our previous session uh, we touched about uh, concepts of sets uh, uh, and the definition of a set so in this one we'll we'll touch we'll we'll see how a set is represented so there are a couple of ways uh, by which you can uh, represent a set and so first one is the roster or a tabular form and second is the set set builder form so each has their unique uh, unique property how how it has to be represented so now for example for roster or tabular form right so in this when we define a set every element of that particular set is listed so for for example if you if you see this particular set right it's saying set of all natural numbers which uh, which divide uh, 10 so now if i have to uh, give a response to this right i have to form a set for for this particular uh, set it will be represented by so 1 it will be 2 it will be 5 and it will be 10 so these are the elements uh, which which form uh, uh, this particular set so now if you notice right so i have listed every element of this particular set in this so now again it's uh, so for example let's say uh, uh, there are a couple of things which are related with this uh, uh, roster or tabular form also so first one is the order is immaterial so for example in this one i have written 1 2 5 10 I could have easily written like this also so for example 2 5 1 10 this is also equal to the same uh, the same set which I defined here so if you notice it, this was an increasing order and this is just a random order so both are same so uh, the order by which you write elements is immediate the only thing which is important is that you represent each and every element of this second one is uh, uh, let's say if I have to take an example uh, uh, all positive uh, uh, all positive in all positive even integers so in this case when i am writing i am representing my set it will be uh, it will be uh, for example 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 everything so now if you notice it's a it's a in it's an infinite list right so i will write like 2 4 6 8 and i can keep on writing uh, uh, all the elements all the positive uh, uh, even numbers but the way you represent is you can give uh, you can give dot 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 which will tell me which will tell that okay this is an indefinite uh, list you are representing every element because since it's a roster form and uh, but you have to represent all the elements since you have to represent all the elements but you cannot write all the elements so by uh, putting a dot uh, at the end of the uh, set it will tell us that okay it's an indefinite uh, uh, series again uh, this is the this is the second point for the roster form the third one is uh, when when you are writing uh, uh, representing a uh, set in uh, uh, in this form the number of uh, if if let's say for example uh, a particular element is repeating so you don't have to uh, write that particular element multiple times so for example in this one right so that set of letters forming the word cool guru so when i am writing this in a in a roster form i will just say c I'll say O, I'll say L, I'll say G, I'll say U, I'll say R. And why I have done this is if you notice there are two O's in this and there are two U's in this. So, I, but I have represented it just uh, once. So, cool guru when I'm representing uh, in, in a set format, I'm just uh, representing O once and U once. And again. Uh, same thing holds true here also that okay you you are writing uh, uh, the sequence of this is immaterial i could have easily written it in uh, let's say o l g u uh, r c something like this so again sequence uh, doesn't matter you don't repeat the uh, elements which are uh, which are getting repeated in your original definition of a set so again so this this example i took because this will be this will be helpful uh, when we are doing the next form also so again if you see this right so it's a set of vowels in the english alphabet and when you define it you were as you are saying it's it's a e i o u so you you can again sequence doesn't matter of course the vowels are not repeating so you don't have to do that here so there are yeah multiple example we can uh, pick but i think uh, you can get you can get an idea that how how you represent a set in a roster or, or in a tabular form so next one is uh, set builder form so if if i go back to my previous example right the set of vowels so if you if you notice here 
I have um, I have given a definition of this set. I am saying a set of vowels in uh, English alphabet. So if you notice something here, it, it, this set, it has a unique property. So now when I'm doing it in a set builder form, so the way I say this thing is, the way it is represented is, okay, V is my uh, V is my set for vowels in, in, in English alphabet. But all the elements will be represented by X in this. And then the definition of X is that X is a vowel on, in, in English language. So we know what are the vowels here. So we know that, okay, this is uh, nothing but A, E, I, O, you so these are the these are the vowels in english language so now if i have to put these values back into this set this set will again become a e i o and u so this definition this definition is if, if you're if you're expanding this uh, set builder form it'll it'll come out to be the same uh, come out to be the same as uh, we defined in our set builder uh, in our rooster form also so and the way you say this thing, right? The way you represent this is, you will say uh, a set V is defined as set of all axes. So you will say set of all axes of all I, of all x. This uh, colon is represented by such that such that x is a vowel in English language. So the way you say this particular form is set of all x such that x is a vowel in english language so now if you if you take this and uh, start putting values back into this it will it will be it will be a e i o u also in this thing again a similar example we can take uh, we can say okay uh, let's say a set of uh, let's say set a is represented a set of all x where such that x is positive even number less than 10 so now if i have to uh, i have to put this put the values of this x positive even numbers less than 10 it will be again we know that okay it will be 2 4 6 8 10 and okay it says since it says it's less than 10 so i will not take this particular value and this will be my uh, set builder form so yeah it's a it's a representation of a set and uh, it it'll be used uh, uh, very heavily when we are doing uh, numericals also when we go into the details of numericals so the way you define a particular set that becomes that can become a little tricky yeah but uh, it's 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 pretty straightforward it's easy to understand and yeah these are the two forms and it should uh, it should definitely help when we are uh, uh, tackling all the numericals and all Thanks a lot for this session. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you like it. Share it. Uh, become a become a member of this community. Thank you. Take care.